The new show, Ordinary Joe, it centers on the main character as he makes a pivotal, life-changing decision at his college graduation, and it follows him on not one, not two, but three parallel timelines. Joining us now, we've got the star of the show, Joe himself, actor James Woke. Thanks for joining us, James. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so talk to us, man. What is Ordinary Joe about? Well, as you said, it's about a guy named Joe. He graduates from college. You meet him on that day. He's faced with three very different choices about what he wants to do with his life. He wants to pursue music. He is unsure. You know, he um, has a college sweetheart. They're in love, but she's kind of going in a different direction. And you see that that day he's just kind of torn on which way to go. You cut to 10 years later and you follow Joe on the three different versions of his life based on the choice he made that day. And um, it plays with this idea of what if, you know, what if I had made that choice? How would my life be different? I think we can all relate to that. And I know that when I read the script, initially I thought, oh, my, like this, I totally get this. You know, I think we all have that what if moment. And so our show plays with the idea of what if. And I love that. Yes. Is it difficult for you as an actor to play three different roles at one time? It's very challenging. I, I think it, the biggest challenge is kind of keeping things straight. You know, in television, we often shoot things out of order anyways. Like, it's not chronological. So that in and of itself is something you have to kind of keep straight in your mind. But now, for me, it's also like keeping the three different worlds straight. Because some of the characters in one world are also in another, but the relationships are completely different. And by that, I mean, in one world, Joe, when he pursues music, he marries this woman named Amy Kindelan, played by Natalie Martinez. And um, they've been married for 10 years in that world. Well, we might be shooting in the afternoon uh, the same day, but in a completely different world where we haven't seen each other since college because we didn't get married and I didn't pursue music. And we run into each other and we just see each other for the first time. We go on a date. So we could be playing a couple with like marital problems in the morning. And then in the afternoon, we could be playing two people that haven't seen each other in 10 years. And so keeping all those things straight as an actor, I think is, a, is probably the greatest challenge of the show. Yeah, I would imagine that would be a huge challenge for you. Now you've mentioned the three different versions that you play on the show. And do you have a favorite version of Joe that you really vibe with? So real quickly, so the three versions are in one life, he pursues his dreams of music and he becomes a really famous recording artist. And in another life, he marries his college sweetheart. They have a son, um, and he becomes a nurse. Uh, and then in another world, he chooses the path that his father took, and he becomes a police officer, and he stays in Queens, doesn't get married, kind of almost like frozen in time, you know, kind of like frozen in time for reasons that the audience will find out. Um, I don't have a favorite Joe. I, I love different things about each Joe. Um, you know, in, in the nurse show world, he has a son. Uh, I, I'm a father myself, and so I love playing those scenes. Um, but I also love music, and I get to record songs, and, and there's real music being written for our show, and so I love performing and playing music. So that element really excites me about music, Joe. And then there's something fun about, you know, when he becomes a police officer, it's like it, it, life, is, it, life is kind of a little simpler. He, you know, he's he goes to Friday nights at, you know, his mom's house for chicken ziti nights. And there's a there's a real family element there that's fun to play. So they all have challenges. They all have great things in their lives. And for me, it's just uh, an, it's an embarrassment of riches as an actor to be able to play all the different roles. Yeah, congratulations on a great show. Uh, I can't wait to check it out myself. I've seen a lot of hype around it, so I can't wait to see it and uh, see you playing all of these different roles. It's exciting. Thanks for joining us and filling us in, James. We appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Yeah, for sure. And reminder that you can see Ordinary Joe on Mondays right here on KNWA.